Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. It's Friday. Hopefully, everybody had a good Christmas. And, wow, we have a very unkeepable hand. No land. That's unfortunate. Uh, I've been having fun playing with the deck. It's been a lot of fun. I don't really want to keep this either, but I guess we will. We'll drop a Blossoming Sands, probably. Yeah, let's just uh, let's drop a Blossoming Say done. We'll see what we get on the draw here. It's not most, our most powerful hand, though. Okay. So we got some Selesnia colors going on. Alright. Easy first pick here. Let's get the plated out. Pass the turn. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the nice slivers as well. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you want to see more and leave a like or a comment on the video letting me know if you want to me to continue playing this. Depending on how good we continue doing with this, this may even become the, the go-to deck for Slivers for me for a while. So we're up against Tron. Alright, so we got the Flaring Pain for just this case, which will be excellent. Uh, but we're just going to try to move fast here on these guys. We, we keep flooding out, which isn't great. We need more creatures. I don't want these Ash Barons. Are you going to counter this? Guess I should have uh, paid attention to that. Would have liked to have gotten that down. So this might not be the super scary Tron. It might be though. It might be, it might be Rainbow Tron still. I see the Tranquil Cove and... I instantly don't see like a forest come out or something like that and all of a sudden I'm not so worried about fog effects so all right so we keep flooding out it's very tragic we'll try to play our sidewinder for a good measure uh, we'll play an ash barons and just try to get something try to get a mountain or something just to set up for future turns I suppose There we go. <clears throat> they got their Tron. Look at that. Lucky them. Not going to be good for us. Um, the mnemonic wall bring him back prohibit all right well aren't you fun I need a lord got anything else you're doing no get rid of these ash barons uh, we will grab a mountain why not wow it's unbelievable how bad we're coming up on lands like that is unreal flooding is real man that's crazy Wow. All right, well, we'll pass again. We'll just cycle the Ash Barons and get it out of our, our library, out of our hand, thin our deck a little bit. Our luck is not with us, though. We could be grinding out a lot more uh, damage on them, and now they've just got a handful of cards and Tron available, so... Mole Drifty. Sounds good, bro.
Thin our deck, grab a planes. still attack into both these which is nice if they block with mall drifter will kill it so i don't think they'll want to do that okay finally a lord that is great let's get them out there they have the prohibit but they can't uh, do it yet so let's keep doing our best here uh the flood was real so i don't know how uh how we're gonna hold up in the long run We'll see what their end game is. They may go for the uh, land hand destruction plan with the uh, the horror. That could be what they're running. Seems like they may not just have it in hand right now. May see some ephemerates on the mull drifter uh, or on the mnemonic wall if they start playing some other stuff. Pulse of research. So they got a land to waste away here, I would assume. Yep, remote aisle. Alright. So we'll see if they play any other big thing here, if they're just going to start holding up some counter magic for our turn. Or any tricks on our turn. What you gonna play? Black. Black, blue, huh? There's the horror, okay. All right, so, I'm gonna return something to our hand. And we discard a card. It's a good thing we got some lands in our hand. Yep. Makes sense. Swinging in. Alright, they're tapped out, so I'd love to see another Lord here so we can still swing into this horror. That's what we need right now. Mm, that's not exactly what I want to see. Okay, well, it's no longer effective to attack right now. So, we will pass the turn and have an extra discard card here if they end up doing an ephemerate on the horror or something like that. Which they got plenty of cards to do all sorts of nonsense. It's not over yet, but uh, it's not looking great for us. Not at all. They're definitely in the driver's seat here. Here comes the ephemerate. Oh, no, never mind. Ah, dignitary. Yeah. Sure, why not? Not like I was going to attack in anyways, really.
Sneaking in some damage with Mall Drifter. Okay. I accept. I considered putting our sinew, our spinnerets uh, sliver in the sideboard, but I decided against it. Uh, just because we have other ways to deal with stuff. Alright, so here it goes. Here comes the ephemerate crap. They play like another ephemerate and make me discard the muscle sliver. We're just going to concede. Let's see what they do. Okay. Still got that prohibit, but we can get around it. Prohibit is two, right? I forget. Is it two or three? Oh, it's just the main counter. All right, let's go to game two. I'm sick of this. Flaring pain? Uh, pyroblast? Yeah. Relic? Just bring in all the tools? else do I not want? Do I want my other blade back? Guess it would be decent in this match. Would be decent. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep those in actually. We could probably cut a plated or two. Maybe a gem hide. I think I'd rather cut like two gem hides. Um, or we get rid of a winding way. Yeah, sure. Sure. I want to keep my creatures. I want to be able to draw into them fast and efficient. Yes, I would like to play first. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's it's keepable. Winding ways definitely gonna have to happen. Get this going. Good play in turn blossoming sands first, then pass. Um, just so I have white mana up just in case, but. Uh, It is what it is right now. Bladeback is not... I mean, I, Bladeback's nice, but I need to get a faster start. It'll be good in long game, but... I didn't want to draw it yet. Really. They're already getting natural Tron like it's no big deal. Now we get our planes, that's nice. Nothing else to do though right now, which is unfortunate. Would have liked a lord. 
We're just giving them all the time in the world right now, basically. Please, no natural Tron. That's all I ask for. No natural Tron. Tell me you don't have it. Give me at least one more draw here before you go to town on me. Gain a life. We're going for that poisonous right now anyways. Still could have a prohibit in there. I need my gem hide or a mountain to play this. Man, we're flooding like crazy this game. We're not moving fast enough to kill them, though. If we had another Viverlint, maybe. As long as I can stay away from Tron, we might be in alright shape. That's a good Modern Horizons card. Holy crap. Draw three cards, then discard a card for four mana. Not bad. Not bad. They tapped out, too, so... If we can draw something decent here, another Viverlin would be nice. I'll take another Viverlin or a Lord. Uh... Well, can get our mountain, and we can start playing uh, Bladebacks. At least we can do that, get another creature on the board. Pretty far away from having Hellbent, but it's one more creature that deals damage, so... We've got him to six poisonous, so we got him on a two turn two turn clock. <clears throat> and if they drop a wall or anything like that too, we can pyroblast it. My guess is they're probably gonna start playing a wall or something. Cause it looks like they're having trouble getting Tron. Okay, impulse. We got top four cards, one in your hand, the rest on the bottom. Yeah, they're struggling to set up right now. It's given us opportunity to come back a little bit, but man, are we struggling too. We're both struggling to set up a board. Alright, they got their Tron. Good for them. So they can't play the horror this turn, I believe. Uh, they might be able to. They need another uh, color source, though, in order to do it. Mall Drifter? Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot my Monic Wall was so expensive. It's crazy. So they're going to return... Uh, let's see what they return here. Okay. It's fine. So we're going to kill the wall. Get it out of our way here. And hope for a Viverlint. If we get a Viverlint, we win. We get another land, of course. 
which is hilarious. Let's get this out of the way. Put them to nine. Nine poisonous. We're going to keep these other two lands in our hand for uh, discards. They can still come back from this. It's possible. I'm, I know they got counter magic in their hand, so if they drop a horror, send this back to our hand, make us discard a forest, we're going to have trouble putting it back out, which will be unfortunate. And it looks like they are going for that roll. Going for that line, unfortunately. There's the black mana. There's that. I need to tap this for blue. So close. So close. If we had just drawn, like, some other creature that we could have played with all this mana. We had, like, four mana the entire game that, like, never got used every turn. Yep. Hmm, actually though, even if they return this to their hand, now they're tapped out of colored mana, so they can't counter the Viverlin. So they're still gonna lose. They're gonna put back Blade back. Okay, sure. See, I didn't think of that, them tapping out so much that they don't have any colored mana to, like, counter our Viverlin or something like that. I don't know why they're scared of the Blade back, but Poison's gonna kill them. All right, we're going to go to game three, which is nice. Thank goodness. Double flanking all the way into... Poisonous. We got lucky. Well, I mean, we didn't get lucky. We uh, we decided to play patient, and we just kept flooding out. Uh, we were both struggling to set up a board there, so that was interesting. Uh, I think I want to cut one blade back. Maybe bring in our plated again. Yeah, sure. Well, let's do it like that. I didn't like the fact that we drew two blade back and just couldn't play it for a billion turns. Maybe it was the wrong move to even keep that in. So I'm fine. I'm fine with cutting one. It's all good. Or maybe we should be doing that so we can really fill up a board with gem hide. Let's see where this goes. Just gotta wait for them. Let's see if we can go three for three. I'm recording all at once for the Naya videos on uh, Sunday, uh, pre the previous Sunday. So this will be my third match with Naya. We won the first two. We'll see if we can uh, keep it cranking. Oh, this is rough, man. This is rough. Two winding ways, though. All right, we'll keep. We'll play Blossoming Sands into our sinew. We'll see what our draws are. Two winding ways to refill our hand here. Two chances to get some good pressure on the board. And we got to hope that they uh, mulligan a little bit, maybe, and have a struggle setting up their uh, their Tron again. 
they do mulligan. They mulligan to six, so. Flaring pain. Remote aisle. Let's get our sinew down while we can, I suppose. Means they're probably going to start holding up some counter magic, I would assume. Two sidewinders, okay. Let's try to put out a sidewinder, see if they take any bait. Hmm, interesting. Huh. Let's go to attack. Swing in for two. See if they counter this. Good chance they will. Yep. I'd hate to be the one to play into it like that, but I I don't know. Maybe we should just play the other sidewinder. I didn't want to be unofficial with my mana though. Pretty far away from Tron though. We've got two caves, remote isle. So, it's interesting. See what they can do. Riverlands nice. Let's bait with another sidewinder. See if they want to go for this Viverlint. And if they do, which they probably will since it killed them last time, but they don't. How interesting. Well, that's kind of good news for us, because maybe they uh, are out of counter spells here. This is good. This is good. Surprising they didn't count uh, counter the Viverlin, so we're going to go for the Winding Way here. And they don't have any more counter spells. Excellent. And we've got a Gem Hide, so we can do the Flaring Pain if we need to one of these turns. Uh, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. I think we might have pulled this off here. Three for three on the Naya Records. Three for three on Christmas week with the new Naya deck. I'm digging it. I'm digging the gem hide. Gem hide was sick on the spread to match up on Monday. If you didn't see that, make sure to go back and watch the spread matchup. Also watch our Bogle mac matchup from Wednesday on Christmas. But we've been running pretty decent here. And I dig it. We got two Urza's Tower. Yeah, they're in they're in some trouble here. All right, let's uh, bait him again with the Sidewinder, like they care, right? Bait him with the Plated. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our Gem Hide out. And we're going to swing in for quite a bit of damage here. Flaring Pain in hand. They go to 6 life. They go to six poisonous, right? Yep. Cool. All right. Let's see if they can uh, dish out enough to stop us here. They just need like a dignitary to like keep them, uh, keep us at bay for a second. Which looks like they may have a dignitary. Yep. All right, so they get another turn. It's unfortunate. But if we get a fireball, that'd be a sick draw. That'd be a really sick draw. All right, we'll pass it back to them. They get one more turn here to try to rectify the situation. Huh. 
flaring pane back up. Alrighty, what do you got for us here? A wall? Mystical teachings, okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh, they're gonna write ephemerate, dignitary, get another turn. They're running out of time. Holy crap, I didn't realize they were under five minutes. Alright, so they'll, they'll ephemerate the dignitary. Uh, bit unfortunate. That's all they can do, though. Love to get a blade back here. Sinew. Sure thing. Yep. That's Tron for you. Right when you think you got him, they get an extra three turns on you where you can't kill him. We're fighting through, though. We're fighting through. I'm still feeling good. Still feeling good. As long as they don't have, like, three more ephemerates in their hand, uh, we might be all right. Just need to draw into our fireball or something. That'd be sick. Look at that, though. I've got 18 minutes left. they got four minutes left. That's insane. Monic wall, bring back ephemerate, lovely. Here we go. This is how they stall it. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We need something to like get rid of this dignitary. All right. We might just get them on time, I guess, you know? If they just keep ephemerating, keep bouncing stuff, might be what we have to do. They gain one life. Such long matchups with Tron. Ephemerate. Bing, bang, bing. I'll play patient. All we need is, like, um, our hellbent guy. We'll just pop our hellbent, get rid of our flaring pain. Bang, bang, bang. All right, hellbent or fireball. Nope, not what I wanted. Let's keep adding to the board. Get another turn. Sorry guys, I know Tron is just tedious like this. I always feel like this is such a boring matchup when it gets to this point, but obviously we're still in a winning position. You know, they're still at four cards. They're trying to combo off with the Ephemerate. Maybe they can do it, maybe they can't. You know, they still don't have Tron. Uh, they're gonna get closer with Expedition, but they still don't got it. So if they had Tron, then I'd be worried. Then I would be like, all right, we need to watch out for stuff. But uh, they don't have Tron yet, so it's not over. I just feel bad when it's this, like, tedious and we're just skipping through our turn five times in a row. What can you do? Never give up. Never surrender. All right, what you got here? Another dignitary. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Just need one of those draws, too. Like, all we need to do is pop a hellbent, pop a fireball. We'll be good to go. Maybe there's reason enough to bring in that other fireball. Our board is getting absolutely massive. 
And they have a minute 40 to go. That's the other thing, too. I mean, they got a minute 40 left, which is also insane. But if they lose on time, I still feel pretty confident that we would have got the win here. So <sighs> here we go. I don't know what their end game is here because, yeah, they're taking all the time they need to ephemerate and make us lose our combat stuff. But to what end? You got, you know, a minute 25 left. And all we need is one good draw, and you're just dead anyway, so. All we need to do is go hellbent. I know, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. I'm sorry. One minute left. Femorate. Sure, 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 sure. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to keep that in my hand. Rebound. I hate this, though. These are the games I want to be able to continue past the time just to see how it plays out. But they're just so low on, like, resources now. To a degree. To a degree. It's Tron. They've always got tricks up their sleeve. Mall Drifter. They're going to draw some cards. We're just going to win on time, unfortunately. It sucks. We got a board full of five sevens. They're in no position to start killing us. They're in no position to start wiping our board with the horror. All it takes is for us to run their hell. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Let's go. We're going to get it. Oh, we're going to get it. Come on, come on, come on. Let me have it. Let me have it. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Ten seconds. We got it. We, we finished them. We don't need to go to combat for this. Come on. Ah, they're just not even going to let us have it. <laughs> I don't care. This doesn't matter. Ah. <sighs> We got it. We got our draw. We got our hell bent. We play out our flaring pain. It doesn't matter if they counter it at all uh, because they're not going to be able to stop our damage. We don't need to go to combat for hell bent. Once it's out of our hand, we can just start tapping four of our creatures. Ping, ping, ping. Poisonous, poisonous, poisonous. Boom. They're dead. Straight to the face. Whatever you want to do, they're done. So, oh boy. Well, I'll wrap this up because we're almost going on 40 minutes. Uh, but we won the match. We went three for three with Naya Slivers. Christmas week. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying. Uh, please leave a like, make a comment. Let me know that you want to see more Naya. If you do, I would love to continue playing it because it was a lot of fun. Make sure to subscribe to don't miss any more content. We got some more Call of Duty coming up over the weekend. More mill next week. And yeah, thanks for sticking to the end. If you did, we, we ended up getting our draw. You know, they just didn't give us the satisfaction of uh, going hellbent on them, but we got it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. We will see you guys in the next video.